All right, folks, here we are back in our trusty cub. Let's pop up the nav log and see what we need to do. So we're in Silver Springs Airport. We need to look for State Route 439, follow that northwest, and look for a ginormous industrial complex. And then from there, we'll head up, find a river, Truckee River, and head to the southwest. All right, let's do that. All right, let's turn on the Toby eye tracker, which that is something new since last time. We'll turn on the landing lights and the strobe. And let's see if I can actually take off in this thing. All right, full power has been set. Woo, nice. Chill out, 60 knots, probably good. All right. No flaps take off. All right, so we are looking for Highway 439. And I believe that's it right there. All right, so I don't really know on the altitude, but we will just kind of play that by ear. One thing has changed in these bush trips. If you go look outside, you get the ugly HUD and you can't turn it off. That's not cool. I went in and looked before this and nope, it's locked in. So, I'm not a fan of it. I don't need to see this, but anyways. All right, so we need to scoot over just a little bit so I can visually see the road. Uh, scoot up in my seat just a smidge. All right. I hope everybody's been doing well. It's been a long time since I've made any content. The good news is I have been practicing to do the Pilot Edge cat ratings. If you don't know what that is, Pilot Edge is a online network that has real live ATC. Uh, this one is um, a payware subscription service. And they offer a bunch of VFR training with real ATC. I picked up recently the Piper Comanche from A2A and I am learning that thing. So pretty soon you should see some of the cat ratings on the channel. And I believe I'm going to start a career with the on-air man airline management program using the Comanche as well. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna try to get back into making content. Life has chilled out just a bit. So we'll see. I do appreciate the 1600 followers that I have so far, subscribers. Thank you much. Pressure is almost in the caution, but it should be okay. I think this is a good um, altitude, at least for now. So I'm really enjoying the Toby eye tracker slash head tracker. Um, it's it's a it's actually a, just a nice bump up from Track IR. You don't have to wear anything. Uh, no heads. No headset or anything like that. Now, the only issue I have is I have a big screen TV, which is way bigger than, I think it's a 55 inch. 
it is not supported technically by Toby for the eye tracking part. The head tracking, it doesn't matter on the size of the TV. But, um, I, so I do notice a little bit of limitation on it, and for the most part, I've got the eye tracking turned off. I do use it occasionally. I don't have it on right now, so I'm just using the head tracking. But the head tracking is, is just fantastic. So looking up ahead here, just directly to our right, I, looks like a couple big buildings that might be where we're heading. And I think could be wrong it's hard to tell but i think just over that hill straight ahead i can see water so like we're on the right path uh, something i've been thinking about doing is you know for as kind of filler videos in between some of the bigger stuff i'm gonna hopefully try to get back to working on is uh doing the different bush trips there's probably eight thousand now uh, with all the different world updates and things like that. So maybe pick something that sounds interesting and and maybe ones that are not 25 legs long. That's just crazy. I don't know why I decided to do one that long. As you pass over the industrial complex, follow the road, you'll see the truck. Following the road, you'll see the Truckee River up ahead. Take the southwest turn and follow the river as it flows. So I'm going to say this is the industrial complex. There's stuff everywhere. All right, well, by these big smokestacks here, I'm gonna say that this is the Truckee River and we will follow it. I'm gonna try to keep my altitude within the 500s for VFR, so let's trim out for 5,500 feet. All right. We're going to follow the Truckee River now. Let's pop the nav log up. Okay, so fly along the riverbank heading southwest past the town of Lockwood. Continue along the river and when it begins bending away towards the west, the highway running parallel will reach a overpass. And it's there you will turn sharply to head north over the city of Sparks. All right. So, at the Truckee River says heading 284 and about three and a half miles. Okay, so just to my left, there looks to be a town. I'm not sure how big Lockwood is. That might be it, it might not, but there might be a town directly ahead of me. I can't tell if that's a town or trees or a mixture of both. But we're looking for basically a major highway with an overpass, and that's where we're gonna hang. Hang a right and go north. Okay, so that doesn't, that is definitely not a town to my left, so. Nope, must be up here. Yeah, I think that's a town, possibly. Welcome to Lockwood, folks. So I'm pretty sure that's it. Possibly a school right there. There's a basketball court, tennis court, things like that. Baseball court over there, or baseball diamond maybe over there. We pay attention so we don't run into stuff. All right, so Sparks is next. That's probably Sparks there. That looks like a big town. So we're looking for 
intersection uh, or an overpass from like a an interstate or something. Uh, I don't know if I'm too high for now. We'll see. Let's get past this range here and then see if I can lower down just a little bit. All right. So I think right in front of me is the overpass, but horribly modeled, maybe. Let's see. Either way, I need to go. I'm pretty sure I need to go right up here. Yeah, there it is. I can see it. Kind of like standing up on my rudder pedals here. Yep, that's it. And welcome to the town of Sparks. There's some big uh, buildings to the south. All right, I wonder if this is the road I need to follow. There's the, uh, there's the bridges there. nav map back up for the nav log okay so cruising over the swatches of suburbia just your head slightly north east a heading of uh yeah okay got it You crested the highest peak. A distinct star-shaped park should be in your sights. One of the main sporting complexes of the area. So I'm looking for a park. And then there's the airport. Following the heading, as it bends northwest, you'll pass over a golf course and cookie cutter neighborhoods. And then there's the Spanish Springs Airport. All right, so we're looking for some star-shaped something or other. We following our road. Yeah, there's a road ahead of us, so we can just follow that, I guess. Going yeah, pretty much north. Looks good to me. This aircraft is not being too noisy for those fine folks down below us. Look over here, not a whole lot of green, but right over the hill here, a whole bunch of green. Is this the golf course, maybe? Yep, I just golf course. Oh, right there. There it is. To our right, there is this diamond star shaped thing. Nice. That's really cool. Let's, so we got a golf course over there in this star shape. Diamond shape thing here. No, star shape. I don't know why I keep saying diamond. Very cool. It's like a soccer or football stadium there, or grass. All right, so now we're heading for the airport. Let's look at this picture again. Mm. Okay. 
that's it there. Let's take a look. I think this might be it. Probably another dirt strip. I guess that's it. Is there a windsaw? I'm gonna say that is it. I don't see a windsaw. Alright, so... set up yeah that's that's definitely it okay kind of enter a pattern I'm sure you wouldn't do a pattern over the mountains Power just a little bit and start descending. Yeah, we're pretty sure if we were doing traffic patterns, it would be the other way. It'd be right traffic instead of left. my altitude here, lead off some speed. Got to get within that white band so I can drop a notch of flaps. So we're close enough. Let's drop a notch of flaps. Let's go ahead and turn our base. It's extended. Kind of did an extended downwind just a little bit. coming in pretty hot so and probably a little lower than I need to be but it should be fine We'll turn final. Drop another notch of flaps. And need to remember that this is a tail dragger. About 70 on the approach speed. Honestly, not sure what I should be at. A little more power. I feel like I'm uh, sinking a little too fast here. Ugh. Probably scaring everybody below me.
But this thing has big tires. Uh, and let's stop. Sweet. We did it. Number 10. That was a rough landing, but you know, hey, I'm happy with it. We had big tires, so. Well, there you go, guys. After two whole years, leg number 10. And I promise you, leg number 11 will not be two years later. Thanks so much for watching. If you like, please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you on the next one.